Welcome to .NET Technology video series. Today we will understand the concept of data controls. Here data bound controls are used to display data from the database. We will understand three data controls in this video lecture. First one is a grid view control, second one is a repeater control and third one is a data list control. These three controls are used to display the data from the database. But based on the user requirement, there are some of the minor difference between grid view control, repeater control and data list control that we will see in our practical session. As I told you that data control are used to display data from the database. So our first requirement is to create a database. For that purpose you have to right click on the application, add new item, select the SQL Server database. Specify the name of the database. Student info. For example, I have set such kind of name for the database. Edit. It will ask you to add database in app underscore data folder. You have to say yes. Here you can see that student info database is created now second thing is to create a table for that purpose you have to right click on tables add new table specify the required number of column data type city and where such kind of information are stored in student information table. Now ID will be primary key so right click on that column and set primary key and one more property you have to set it's a is identity yes now it will automatically increment by one when the new record is added and we can use primary key to identify unique records from the data from the database save the table say student okay now we are not performing here insert update and delete operation because we have already done this things in edio.net video series so if you are not watch that insert update delete operation or database connection operation video then i recommended you to watch first of all this video to understand better knowledge of database now here we are going to add data in a table so open the option so table data currently our database is empty we are going to fill this data specify any of the name remember that id must be taken automatically so we are not here going to specify the id by our side We have added three records in our database. Now it's time to understand the data control. First one is a grid view control. Just take it in a design portion. Then second one is a repeater control. And third one is a data list control so these three controls we have taken in our design portion you can see that in a data grid view control it's a default layout of row and column it provides you the data in a tabular form where repeater control and data list control does not contain any built-in layout or default layout so we have to specify this layout for these two control but also there is one difference between repeater control and data list control is data list control is a lightweight control 
and I have give you one of the example of shopping website if you are visiting any of these shopping website at that time you can see different number of products in your web page such kind of facility will be helpful or we can provide with the help of data list control and it will give you horizontal and vertical layout where repeater control can't provide you such kind of facility so it's a difference of three data control and based on the user requirement you can use any of these controls now we will understand how to bind the database with such controls for that you have to click here and choose data source you can see the option choose data source here new data source our database is SQL so database SQL click OK here you can see student info dot MDF it's our current created database so select this one student info database you can get the connection string over here now next next to provide advanced features of update and delete in a grid view you have to select advance and just click one option generate insert update delete statement and give ok then after you can see that it's a table name currently we are using only one table that's why only one table is shown student if you are using multiple table and that time you want to display different tables information in different controls at that time you can select based on your requirement this is column selection select star from student it will select all the columns next perform test query so we can identify that we are going in a right direction it will fetch the data from the database now finish so grid view control will convert based on the database column you can auto format it want to color enable paging if a record is large then you can select paging option enable sorting it will provide you sorting from the ID name city then enable editing runtime you can edit your data in a database enable deleting it will delete the data from the database enable selection it will use to select the record as per user requirement so such kind of option you can provide now we will run our application to view the data in a grid view control so you can see that id name city and three record which we have inserted in our table you can see in a data grid view now repeater control the same thing choose data source first time we have defined or we have performed binding procedure so now one was you have to select only the that data source but you can see that here it will not give you the tabular form if I run over here then also you can't unable to see the data so I have previously told you that it's not have a built-in or default layout so we have to provide the layout to the repeater control so you have to use or remember two important tag it's a header template and then item template 
in a header template we will define the heading like uh, here id name and city it will contain the head portion of your repeater control and item template contain record from which we are fetching from the database so for that purpose we are using here to take header template and item template table border is equal to one one tr tag for the row and three td tag it's a first one is a id name and city in a design you can see head is created id name and city it's a header template now we are working on item template tr again three column td We are going to use label to display record in repeater control. So select one of the label HTML source, copy it and paste over here. Now remove this label from the HTML source here we are using three label to display three column information ID name and city label id we will change as per the requirement and name and city now we have to display the record from the database so you have to remember the syntax how we can fetch data from the database in a repeater control for that purpose we have to use one of the method evil so remember the syntax first single quotation why we are defining this in a text because whatever information we want to display on a web page that information must be associated with text property of label opening bracket closing bracket then percentage has evil in bracket ID just copy it paste it and change the column name first one is the ID second one is the name third one is the CT. So layout is prepared. Now we will run the application and see can we get our output or not. So here you can see the record in repeater control, but you can see that layout is somewhat unarranged manner. So we have to arrange it properly.
we will specify the fix width for each control specify this property for every label now this thing we are going to replace in header template also but just change is that we are using here display id don't forget to change the id because same id can't be applicable in same web page so here i have include h for the header template name h cth id name and city now we are going to execute the program so this is the proper in a arrange manner so it's a repeater control now third one is a data list control we are just going to bind the our data source with it sql data source one then after it will give you the layout or template it will automatically define such a coding in a html portion you don't have to write the things which we have defined in repeater control but based on the requirement you can change the layout of data list control for example currently here you can see that listed vertical so if you want to see the data in a horizontal then it can be possible repeat direction you have to select the property repeat direction is equal to horizontal now your data will be appear as a horizontal one more property repeat column repeat column is equal to if i have select two then two column will be display in one horizontal line first record second record and in a new line it will display third record so in this way these three controls are going to use grid view control repeater control and data list control i hope you can understand data controls thank you for watching this video